Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we have some LED replacement bulbs from Car Work Box. These are in the 9006 bulb type, and they are available on Amazon, link in the description below. First, let's take a look at the construction of these bulbs. The cables have a woven nylon sheath for protection and durability. There is a hardy plastic connector with the 9006 uh, pins and a connector in the middle. A brain box in the middle of the second section of cable and then the bulb end. There is a small amount of strain relief on the connectors and the brain box and I would have liked to see more on the bulb end but that is in a fairly thick plastic retainer uh, on the nylon sheath it may be fine. Judging by the construction of the rest of the bulb, I would believe that it probably is a bit over-engineered. The case on the brain box is punched and stamped aluminum, and there is a very large heat sink and fan on the bottom. This is a low-profile heat sink, that will allow you to get the whole bulb into your assemblies and get the dust cap on if yours uh, have internal bulbs. The heatsink is made from an extruded aluminum and does a very good job of creating additional surface area to help dissipate the heat generated by the chips. The center of the column is uh, an aluminum, uh, sorry, a copper core protected by this chrome plated shroud. The adapter plate is machined from a billet of aluminum and has been anodized. The bulb is retained in the adapter after passing through these grooves. By these shelves. The shelves are on both sides of the groove allowing the bulb once installed to rotate in either direction to be secured and get proper alignment in your housings for the most ideal beam pattern. The chips at the end of the bulb are CSP LEDs and they are very efficient chips. There are six chips per side and they are on opposite sides of the bulb. Normally, this would result in a significant uh, dark spot being created along the line. As you can see on the wall behind me, there is a shadow cast. We can see at 14 volts, let's crank that up a little bit, there we go. Uh, at 14 volts we're currently drawing 2.8 amps and that will drop down to 2.6 as it reaches a thermal equilibrium and you can hear that large fan. 
is significantly loud, uh, but it does an excellent job keeping the thermals down. What it does not help is the brain box. I was testing these for a, about 30 minutes earlier, and this brain box got very warm, warm enough that it was not comfortable to hold. As we were saying, the dark spots would normally be an issue, but in this case, the chrome finish on the shroud almost completely eliminates that inside a housing. As the light bounces from the chip off the housing, and then again off any of these surfaces, it further muddles the light inside the, uh, the culmination lens or uh, reflector and helps to create an even beam pattern. In our open or non-housing test, the light meter from six inches away measured 930 lux peak and in our 15 foot projector test the brightness did vary from 430 at the darkest to a peak of 600. Unfortunately I don't have footage of those tests to show right now but I can thoroughly recommend the use of these bulbs if you're looking to replace a halogen bulb or you want something that's more responsive and more reliable than an aftermarket xenon bulb. Uh, unlike the xenon bulbs that take time to warm up to full brightness, these are at full brightness instantly. In any case, I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, hit that like button and consider sharing with your friends. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.